wake up night. You must take up your arms again. This is all very confusing. I know. Focus. Breathe. It will all become clear soon. You were fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king, you have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Can you recall the gathering of terrible armies? You saw Camelot burning and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights and monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. You destroyed the ladies of the summer and the lords of the winter. Kills King Arthur, and with his dying breath, he struck you down. You both die, and yet you both live. You have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. I have brought you back to end this nightmare, Sir Mordred. I want you to go on a nightly quest. I want you to finish what you have begun. Kill King Arthur. Or whatever he has become. After I took his dying vessel to Avalon. Sir Mordred, living and breathing again. But is he truly alive? I wish I could talk to him, but I can't just yet. Serves him right anyway. I've set this dread night on a dark path, and for now, I can only watch where it takes him. I've brought back King Arthur's nemesis and wonder if I made the right choice. Mordred did the impossible, after all. Almost killed the king, who cannot be killed. And that's how the nightmare began. here to teach you some manners, lad. What is this thing? Garbage, or real treasure this time?
Open the door, whoever you are. Help me, and I will help you. Well, well, well. Sir Kay, King Arthur's Seneschal, in a dungeon rotting away, a hero's reward. An honest and capable man, but a bit dull, like an untended blade. Sir Mordred, the Scourge of Britannia is back. Avalon is not a place for your treacherous kind. Are you real? Or just a ghost? Tell me, Mordred, do you remember killing me? Help me escape, traitor. Then we may talk. Some of us are still waging a war. I fought and have been betrayed. You are familiar with betrayal, aren't you? And what is yours? Your bloodlust? Your savagery? Yes, I thought so. You think you're strong enough to fight the taint on this island? I keep my promises. I will help you, Mordred. The powers that rule this land decided to trust you with our fate. I don't know how to feel about that. But soon, you must make your very first decisions. I've already told you. Avalon, the island of the Fallen Knights. And this is Castle Camelot. Yes, not the one that you remember, though. That's my arm over there. Finally. I feel more useful now. You think a sword makes you less useless? We must get out of here. Go to the door and let me handle this. Rascals! I told you that you will pay for this! What the hell is he doing out of his cell? Surprise! Too late. Ready to fight. To hell with you. That's it. I was just getting warmed up. A chest. More things to plunder. This is the Warden's room. Prepare for battle.
Sir Kay. You are really persistent, but I can't let you walk free. You don't have much choice in the matter now, Warden. very well that diplomacy was never my strong suit. Share of glory, knights. I am here to serve. For my Camelot. to fight. Be Sir Tewelin. Lead me to him. I want to explain him that this is my castle now. So, you are back as well, traitor. You probably don't remember me. I am just a walking corpse, cheated out of his death. And I will make everyone suffer for this injustice. He is... 
He was Sir Tuellen, a once noble warrior with two sons, both knights. He is not. The unholy storm wrecked the ship that brought the dying king to Avalon. And the raging tempest, something was waiting for the ship. And then the darkness took the king and all of us in its embrace. Arthur is beyond the Bridge of Sorrows, dwelling on the accursed land of Midnight. Whatever you do, you need more than a blade to break my curse. My sons are both full of life and hatred for each other. Whatever is awaiting for me here, I must face it alone. Balin and Balin are seeking their own fates now. Just as I do. Destined to survive anything. Awaiting your command. The battle is over, and you must make a choice, Mordred. This is merely the first in a chain of similar decisions that will eventually determine what kind of leader you will be. Tell me, what will happen to Camelot? 